What's going on everyone? I just thought I'd take the time to take you through my Vito Pro Pack. Um, this is just my everyday carry around DIY uh, all encompassing um, tool bag that I use. Okay, so I guess we'll start on the side here. So we have a pair of mechanics gloves held to the bag by some night eyes by a night eyes uh, S carabiner. I have a Stanley Fat Max uh, 16 foot auto lock. Really like the auto lock feature. You can easily just pull the tape out, quickly measure something. Um, it's just really, really convenient. Uh, I have yet to just comment on the longevity of this tape, um, but. Uh, we'll see how long it stays on, on the bag. Um, in the pocket below, we have one of my favorite lights, which is the Klein Carabiner Magnetic um, Work Light. A fully swivel. Um, yeah, it's really nice. Uh, it can also charge devices via the side here, and then obviously you have your power meter as well. Um, so really, really great light. Put this back. Oh, sorry. Cool. Moving off to the right here, I have a Pika pencil. Uh, one Inksol. Oh, I broke the tip off of it. Oops. Um, but I have an Inksol. I have a black one floating around somewhere on my table. I'll add it later. Um, and I have just a regular extendable uh, magnetic pickup tool. Uh, moving to the bigger meter park pocket here, I have a stud buddy, which is fantastic. Um, Y'all know what this is for. And I have a Klein Tools outlet tester and a uh, circuit board sniffer. Fantastic tool, it hasn't let me down. Um, love obviously using this when I'm changing outlets and or wiring up any new, uh, anything new that requires a shutdown at the circuit breaker. Okay, the other side. We have on my tape loop, regular blue painter's tape, scotch, electrical tape, and I have mega tape, which will cover me uh, for both gas and water lines um, in place of Teflon tape. I have this uh, Ergonine ProFlex kneeling pad. Really nice if I need to kneel down. It saves your knees, keeps your pants clean. Um, yeah, it's been wonderful. Uh, Vito Pro Pack bottle opener, it's a promo that they had. On the pocket below, just have a, some Harbor Freight specials in this part of the bag here. Um, this always gets caught up, but a set of security bits from Harbor Freight uh, with a bit holder in the middle. And then to the right of that, we have the Icon uh, Mini Ratchet Bit Set, which has been fantastic. Yeah, I can't say enough good things about this little kit here. Um, but yeah, these both fit in the pocket on the side here. Slides down, slides down. Boom. Okay, now on the, the meter pocket. This is my ratchet section. So just have a little six inch extension with a 72 tooth coking ratchet. Really low back drag on this thing um, it's fantastic can't say enough good things about this thing um, love it and then to pair with that I have both uh, a standard and a metric set of impact ready sockets uh, these are by Makita I uh, got them from I think Home Depot I believe but yeah fantastic Okay, to the front of that, probably my most used tool is the Milwaukee Fastback 
with a bit holder that has a um, Phillips and a slotted bit. It's fantastic. Um, and yeah, just your standard, obviously, blade with a De DeWalt carbide blade. These are amazing. Just straight up amazing in terms of um, staying sharp and yeah. So that stays on the front because I use it all the time. I have a small O-light, very bright. The first click is your first setting and then you have a turbo setting on your second click. So super, super handy, has a hat clip um, and a pocket clip. So that stays on the front of my bag as well. Okay, let's take you through the meat and heart of the bag here, um, the main compartment. So Velcro at the bottom, there's two zippers on the sides. I like to open it all the way up like this. And yeah, there's a ton of stuff in here. Let's start out first with um, the gloves, the loose items, some uh, cut level one Milwaukee gloves. These are great. Um, I'm actually gonna throw them on now for the rest of the video. But yeah, these are fantastic. Um, love how they feel, they're very tactile. I'm still able to use my iPhone to make calls, look something up, um, text. But yeah, it's a Harbor Freight special magnetic pickup tray. Um, shoot. It's, okay, let's start at the front of the bag here. Unbutton that. I have super glue. Actually, let me move all the tools over here on the right. Super glue. I have a few different sets of, well, these are really automotive uh, trim pullers. Uh, it's the cheap kind. No, I'll look to upgrade these uh, in the near future. And this is just your HDX putty. Um, Putty knife. What else do I have here? I have a plastic razor blade. And I have extra blades up here. Where are they? Yeah, they're right here. But yeah, this is great for getting decals off of uh, any anything, you know, stick related. You can just easily take it off without having to worry about marring the surface. So that's been good. Um, that's all I have in the front too there. Uh, I'll take you through my screwdrivers. So I have a Klein um, multi-bit extendable uh, stubby. And on the butt of it, it has a bit carousel. Uh, this is great obviously for getting into you know, hard to reach really small spaces and um, the grip allows me to really get a lot of torque down uh, if I need to. So, one screwdriver. The one next to that is just your Klein insulated screwdriver. It is double sided. You have your standard, I, I have it covered right now, but your standard Phillips as well as your slotted. Uh, just to the left of that, you are all reliable 11 and 1. Client 11 and 1. Y'all know about this. Um, it's probably my second most used tool, which is why it stays in the middle of the bag here. Um, but yeah, it's been nothing but great. To the left of that, we have an extendable um, Klein. long shank screwdriver and it is uh, dual sided so you have your flat on the other side I can never figure this out but yeah um, so that stays in the bag and then I have your craftsman auto screwdriver in uh, it takes different bits, and if you really want to, you can change out the bit holder as well. I just use this and I keep it in here. Um, 
and it stays with a slotted, or I'm sorry, a Phillips screwdriver. So those are all my screwdrivers right there. Okay, let's take you through the right side of the bag here. I have a, just a Milwaukee Sawzall blade. Um, I usually carry like a wood blade as well as a drywall blade. I don't have them in the bag just yet. I will look to add those uh, very soon, but foldable, that's why I like it. Stays in the bag. Another favorite tool of mine, the Purdy Painter's Tool. Uh, I actually just recently used this to uh, get behind some drywall and pull it up. Um, and it held up extremely well. Yeah, I can't say enough good things about this, this thing right here. This is your Dasco Pro. Um, trim removal, tr trim remover, um, pry bar. It's not too big, um, but it still allows you to get a ton of leverage. It's very sturdy. So, love this thing. Okay, just to the front of that, Harbor Freight. Um, oh, would you, man, what do you call this thing? I use it to really uh, make holes. Um, or like, uh, it's a punch. So I, I use it to, um, you know, create a divot in a surface that way. Uh, when I use my drill, which I'll show you later, um, my drill bit doesn't walk all over the place. It stays in one spot and stays put. So that stays in the bag. This is a new addition to the bag. May you, um, pick set one that's slanted when that's straight. These are incredibly strong for their size. They're really handheld, right, in terms of size, but man, when you need to get behind something and pull it up and it create some space so you can pull a trim panel or um, you know anything that just needs additional leverage, these have my full confidence. Cool, okay. Um, and what I have floating here is a pair of 250 mil uh, Cobra pliers, amazing. Knipex, they make great tools. I have a lot of other Knipex items in here, as you'll see. Um, I guess we'll stay with the, the pliers. Um, just to the left of that, I have a set of Husky. Um, Vice grips. These are amazing. Small. I don't care the big one just because it's so bulky. So uh, these are a happy medium. Behind that, I have a smaller pair of uh, Cobras. These are the 180. It stays in the bag. This thing is fantastic. This is by Milwaukee. It's really a multi tool. It has a Duck bill in the front there. Um, wire strippers from 8 to 20. Um, bolt cutters right in the middle of the tool. As well as some crimpers here for butt connectors and or anything else that needs to be um, squeezed together. So amazing. Really, really nice. Uh, spring loaded for repetitive work. Love using this thing. Okay, um, so left of that, we have your pliers wrench. This is the 180 uh, Kinepex again, and then we will match that with the Big Brother 250 size. Um, yeah, I can't say enough good things about this. Uh, really, really nice to use under sinks. Um, I use this to change out some plumbing um, at my cousin's house the other day so these have been great those stay in the bags at all times uh, same pocket you have your Klein 
linesman pliers. I've had these forever. Um, and they've withstood the test of time. Uh, have the cutters on them and just your standard pliers in there. So these are great. Okay, um, more pliers. I'll take you through all my pliers. These are the long bill Knipex pliers. Um, when you want to get into something um, and it requires a really, really, or has a really, really narrow opening, these are great cutters in the middle here. Um, yeah, Kinemex always delivers. Behind that, same pocket, Kinemex, uh twin grip pliers. Has a screw screw extractor head there. Um, I think it's five different or seven different sizes. I, I forget what the adjustment is, but if you need it or really crank down on something, these allow you to do that. Um, amazing. Okay, I think I have one more pair. Oh, these are my Dykes. Um, these are from Harbor Freight Doyle. I do plan on upgrading these to the Knipex versions. These are just the regular 8-inch. But these have not let me down for um, what I need them to do for me. So, stay in the bag. Okay, I think those are all my pliers. Um, oh, you know what? Let's backtrack. I have one Pittsburgh pry bar tool um, when you just need that extra leverage this is it you know I mean why not and I don't mind you know really beating on this thing um, it's cheap and it has a uh, lifetime warranty so if it breaks I'll just go back to the store and get another one so that goes in my pry bar section um, kind of a screwdriver but really more so like a destruction tool if I need to separate things. Um, this is the Milwaukee demo screwdriver. Uh, it is a full shank through the handle, striking surface on the back when you really need to get that added power. But yeah, this, this stays in the bag. It's been great for me. Okay, um, take you through my last hand tool here. Um, these are my Baco 8 inch adjustable wrench. This is the wide mouth version. Um, if I'm not mistaken, they make the same adjustable wrenches for Snap-on. They just have a different finish. I think they're just really shiny. Um, but these are just I mean, I've never used an adjustable wrench like this precise. Um, and yeah, it's really easy to change um, on the fly from small to big, big to small. And the grip is really nice and it just fits in the hand really well. Full confidence in these. Okay. Um, pair of Klein snips just regular scissors um, these aren't the high leverage ones but they fit in the bag so well and I'm really just used to uh, using these the two hole ones uh, for terminating um, you know cat 5 cat 6 uh, but yeah I, I, you know, I don't do that for a living I just I can do it um, but yeah I, just, I really just mainly use these to cut wires and um, you know, whatever, whatever else needs cutting. Okay. Um, this is my hammer. This is an S wing 12 ounce hammer. I believe this is made in USA. Yeah, this is great. Um, I'm actually thinking about going with a PB Swiss dead blow mallet instead. Um, but you know, this does serve its purpose. When I have to hang something on a wall and I need to drive either a nail or, um, you know, uh, a screw mat holder, uh, this is it. You know, I mean, really any hammer would work at that point. Uh, but yeah, I have an S-Wing for now. I have two levels. 
uh, stuck together currently. Um, one I just have that's really cheap, has a magnet on one side. Uh, I'm not scared to drop this to really, um, you know, put it up somewhere up high. And if it falls, it won't break. Uh, but yeah, it's been fine. Then I have the Klein Tools multi-level with the pipe um, attachment on the side here. The magnets are ridiculously strong. It's like over the top. But yeah, it's been great. Okay, um, I guess I can take you through my drill, a.k.a. Um, my Milwaukee quarter inch. impact driver and the rest of um, you know what I have in here uh, is a direct accessory to use um, so I have the right angle attachment I'll just put this down everybody's familiar with the quarter inch Milwaukee impact driver I have a six inch Magnetic bit holder. I have a Klein Tools reversible uh, quarter inch uh, five sixteenths um, nut driver, and it it also does hold bits um, in here. So this is great. Uh, it's been fantastic. What else? I have just a sleeved. There used to be a Dewalt. Uh, rubber sleeve on this but it, it just came off because I use it so much but uh, it just holds screws in I know this is old school and not a lot of people use this anymore this is just what I'm used to um, and I just you know use what I'm comfortable with so that's what that is I have a DeWalt swivel um, bit holder attachment I know I've heard I've seen some other youtubers um, review this and they'll complain about how this bit stays on this bit holder on the instructions and the packaging that holds this thing it specifically says and explicitly says to use a pair of pliers to take the bits out so um, that's just what it is and you know I, I don't mind it uh, this has come in handy when like assembling furniture where you have to put you know screws or bolts um, in at awkward angles where you just don't have the space for you know a straight shot to hold it down uh, to the left of that I have a Wera bit holder I'll probably get the longer one as well but this is probably the best bit holder I own bar none it's great Okay, to the left of that, I just have two really standard bit holders um, that came with the Craftsman screwdriver, and I just keep them in the bag just because I did have the space, so why not? Uh, tie wraps, uh, need I say more? Um, I carry two sizes. Uh, I believe I have the six, in six inches and the 12 inches. Yeah. Uh, up here I have an eraser. This goes hand in hand with my Pika pencil if I need to mark off things on drywall or paint a surface. This will, nine times out of ten, will take off the graphite um, left behind or the mark is left behind from the Pika pencil. So I keep that on me. What else do I have in here? Oh, I have, um, this goes on my uh, tape measure on the end of it here um, if you if you need to measure something far you need to get around a corner or have it hook on something then you know that's what this is for uh, let's see that's all I have up here um, up top this is kind of different than what I'm what I've seen other people do but I just have some rare earth magnets holding on to a few different Milwaukee um, bits 
just slotted and, and Phillips here, um, short and long. And I have a few different drill bits as well. Now in this pocket, I have some disposable eight mil gloves. I have uh, the carbide DeWalt blades that um, I use in my Milwaukee uh, box um, utility knife up here. Uh, I have some butt connectors, use these a lot, uh, wire connectors here, wire nut connectors, these are standard home, deep, you know, commercial electric. Um, and that's basically my bag. Oh, you know what? I'm actually going to throw, I just got these, but I'm going to throw these Maxi Flex gloves in the bag as well. Um, and usually my, Mil my Milwaukee gloves stay in this bag as well. But uh, yeah, these will go in there. But yeah, that's basically my Vito bag. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, please reach out. But this is what I use on a day-to-day -day basis. All right, y'all.